Welcome to Wealth Building Wednesday, your weekly dose of financial wisdom to help you build a secure and prosperous future. Today we're diving into the essentials of understanding wealth and net worth. Let's unlock the secrets to financial success together. Hey y'all, thrilled to have you join us on this journey towards financial empowerment. Wealth isn't just about having lots of money, it's about creating a life that's rich in possibilities and free from financial worries. So, where do we start? With understanding wealth and net worth. First off, let's clarify what we mean by wealth. It's not just your monthly paycheck, or your occasional paycheck or your commission check or whatever you make on a regular basis working your job. It's the accumulation of valuable assets that provide financial security and freedom. Now, net worth, it's a simple yet powerful concept. It's what you own minus what you owe. Assets like your home, investments, and savings minus any consumer debts and liabilities. Imagine a scale. On one side, you have your assets, and on the other, your liabilities. The goal? To tip the scale in favor of your assets. That's positive net worth, and it's the foundation of wealth building. Why focus on net worth? Because it's a true measure of financial wealth. Positive net worth means that you're on the right track, building a buffer against life's uncertainties, and paving the way for, for future wealth. You know, so if something comes up and costs a lot of money, you don't have to go into more debt or debt in general to pay for it. All right, uh, so we could talk about some basic strategies for increasing net worth. Uh, so how do we do that? Start by paying down your high interest debt. And there's various methodologies for achieving that. Uh, you've got a lot of debt, I suggest checking out Dave Ramsey's methods. Uh, they've got, you can either take the, uh, Dave Ramsey and uh, I think Warren Buffett also has something to say on that matter, but you've got the snowball effect or the avalanche effect. I'm not gonna go into that into too much detail here, uh, just, Say, look into that uh, for methodologies for achieving uh, or paying down your debt. Uh, next, you boost your savings. Aim to save at least 20% of your income. And don't forget about investing. It's not just for the wealthy. It's how you, how the, it's how the wealthy got there. Uh, even small, consistent investments can grow you significantly over time thanks to the magic of compound interest. Remember, building wealth is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So that means it's not get rich quick. Uh, you know, you may get lucky uh, and have a, an investment that brings in a lot of money quickly. But for the most part, uh, you, you know, that's just pure luck. That's not going to happen on a regular basis and if you're trying to hit those get rich quick investments you're going to lose out more often than you'll win uh, statistics prove that out so it's better to to run it like you're running a marathon because that's what it is uh, so it's about making smart choices and staying committed to your financial goals all right so that wraps up our first in-depth episode of Wealth Building Wednesday. I hope you feel inspired to take control of your financial future. Uh, join us next week as we tackle the art of budgeting for wealth. Until then, keep striving for financial success. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an episode of Wealth Building Wednesday. Share this with someone who could use financial boost and let's build wealth together. See you next week.